Now, if you are feeling stressed this morning, get ready to switch off, relax and unwind. Uh, that's because we're joined by wellness guru Will Williams, who's behind the celebrity approved mindfulness method, Bija Meditation. And today we're going to get to try it out for ourselves. Um, I got given your book as a Christmas present, actually. Oh, and wonderful. I loved it and just kind of requested you to come in because I was so desperate to meet you. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, just explain what this style of meditation is. So what I do is I've been trained to give people these sounds that they repeat within their mind and it has this amazingly powerful resonance on their nervous system and that basically helps balance everything for you in the face of this crazy life that we're living. Yeah, so it's kind of stripping all that away and becoming and listening to who you truly are. Exactly. It? Okay. Right then, earpieces out. Then. Okay, because yeah, we're going to try this and we'll okay. talk a bit more afterwards. Here we go. This We've never gonna, done this before. This calm so down. as a great way to set this up, uh, yeah. I'd like to, you to stand up and yeah. I'm just going to give your spine a bit of a massage. Okay. We haven't got much time, so we might as no. well just get you straight in. So if you start bending forward. Okay. Because your nervous system runs through your spine, it really loves being woken up and given this lovely experience. So if you start coming up again now. And this will release loads of endorphins and just loosen oh everything God. up. And if you'd like to take a seat. Oh, it's maybe a bit lightheaded. <laughs> OK. So now yeah. let's close the eyes. We'll run through a little medley of techniques and just sit back and relax and start breathing in through the nose and fill the lungs completely. And then when you're ready, exhale out of the mouth and really empty the lungs and then come back in and again breathing in through the nose and what this is going to be doing when you breathe fully it stimulates your parasympathetic nervous system which is your relaxation response and then you breathe out through the mouth and there's about 84 keep going with this there's about 84 different breathing techniques from India and the simplest one that people can work with is simply breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth and just starts calming everything down. And now that we've done that, please bring your attention to your feet. So if you place both feet on the floor and notice the contact between your feet and the floor or the soles of your shoes. Because when we're living these busy lives, our attention bounces up into our head. So it's good to bring it back down into the body for a complete experience. And now start bringing your awareness up through your legs, into your body, noticing any tightness, any tension. We don't need to make it go away. It's just good to check in with ourselves and see what's actually going on. Bringing it up to the shoulders and down through the arms. Having your palms facing upwards is always a good idea as well. And now I'm going to introduce a little sound or mantra for you each to use. So I'm going to come over and whisper that to you now. If you could just lean forward, Philip. If you just sit back, gently start repeating that within your mind. If you'd like to do this at home, then you can say the word bija very, very softly within your mind. And don't worry if any thoughts come into your awareness. That's part and parcel of meditation. We don't need to make them go away. The key is to just be super soft and super subtle. Let it become very faint, very vague within your awareness. And as you do this, the resonance will cause your brain to go into an alpha state. And from there, your brain will be able to think more clearly. You'll be much more creative. And it's impossible to fear, feel fear when you're in the alpha state. And simultaneous to this, your body is going to be calming down. Your nervous system is going to de-excite. And then you can go into rest and repair mode. And all of your organ systems can calm down. Everything can sort itself out. And then you can come out of your meditation and feel completely refreshed and rebooted. That was very, very, very relaxing. I don't want to stop. Well, let's finish with one little exercise to close off. So keeping your eyes closed, 
Bring your attention to the center of your chest, which is where you feel so much emotion. And just imagine someone or something that you feel immense amounts of love for. And imagine projecting that love to them. And imagine a little bubble of love growing inside of you and filling you and expanding beyond yourself. Because when we feel these positive emotions, it does radiate out to other people. They can feel if we're in a good state or not. And it unsettles people when we're feeling stressed. Mm -hmm. But if we're feeling good vibes, everyone's happy. Good times. Indeed. Two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes, is it? Oh, I gosh. had to look my eyes and, and uh, find Did out you? what was going on there. So there is, I mean, there's scientific evidence to back this up as well. There's UCLA did a big study about how this affects the brain and the body. Yes, it's quite surprising, actually, how much it affects the body as well. You know, your heart rate settles, your blood pressure normalises, all your different systems become healthier again because when we're living this adrenalized life everything's kind of edgy and and fast-paced and so if we don't offset that everything kind of runs away from us are we being harmed by social media if we if we don't have a healthy relationship with it yes we do because it's massively stimulating your nervous system to unprecedented levels and eventually that's just going to cause your fight or flight response to get chronically activated, mm. and then you're gonna be susceptible to anxiety, to depression, to anger, and to just feeling overwhelmed. And I think the thing about you is, you've lived a really busy life. Yes. Um, you've lived a lifestyle that definitely wasn't one of a guru. No. Uh, you came to this because you had extreme insomnia and were going through a terrible time. And Correct. it's because you've noticed a difference that you kind of want to spread the word a bit. In, indeed, because I was apparently living the good life in the music industry and having a good night every night. But actually, I didn't really feel that good in myself mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day basis. And I wasn't sleeping well and it just... I was so low on energy, so it transformed me in literally a matter of weeks and I went around the world for years exploring it because I'm so curious and now I've brought it back to Europe so that I can share the love. Can I, uh, can I just show you Alice Beer? Has Alice Beer gone out? Oh, she has. She's on the, uh, she's on the other side of the <laughs> studio. She started doing it. I don't know whether she's actually gone to sleep or what, but <laughs> she's... Uh, it's yeah. working. Excellent. Twice a day, 20 minutes. That's the key. See how you get on. If you do that, your life will change. Really? Yeah. Quickly as well. And the well. mindfulness yeah. apps are good as well? 